Okay, it's seldom that I praise a politician, but in this case, I think it's justified. Our county mayor just stood up for property rights, and I think that's a noble thing, and I think he ought to be commended for it. Now, first off, all I know about this situation is what I've read on the WLAF.com website, and it appears that uh, TEA has done some surveying, and they need a site for a capacitor bank, which will involve about three acres, and what it does is connecting capacitors to an AC line in the right manner raises the power factor, which all boils down to mean they can send a lot more power over the same line, and that's something they need to do. And since this is a public project, they have the power of eminent domain, which means that under the Fifth Amendment of the Constitution, they can take this property that they need to put this site on and pay supposedly a fair price for it. And the thing is that sometimes the property owner don't want to sell, and in this case, I suspect that's what's going on, but it seems that TVA has chosen two sites. One is private property, and the other one is in the Carroll Industrial Park. As I said, about three acres, and our uh, the, the city council in Carroll is, is hesitating on this. They don't want to, to sell the property to TVA, and they've voted and decided to put it off and talk about it. But our county mayor comes out, and he says, TVA, and I'm quoting from the WLF website, has chosen to pursue this side over the private property at the request of Mayor Morton, who did not want TVA to condemn private property. I'm for that. Now, why not let already government-owned property go to a public good rather than take somebody else's property that may or may not want to sell? And that seems very reasonable to me. My one complaint is is that Careful has the option of voting this down and rejecting it and forcing TVA to go to take the property of some private individual. That's not right. If you're going to take property, be fair about it. And in this case, it seems to me that the public property is is already confiscated from somebody or bought under a legitimate sale. But anyway, the point is, thank you, Mayor Morton. You've done the right thing.